Good morning. As you can see, this is going to be a very special service today. Um, not only is it Cinco de Mayo, but uh, the Dismantling Racism Group has chosen to honor Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. This month was designated in 1900 by the US government to celebrate the achievements and contributions of these ethnic groups living in the United States. The group consists of 50 distinct ethnic groups speaking over 100 different languages. We're fortunate today to have as our guest speaker, Ms. Shizuko Kabayashi, who has organized the Japanese festivals over the years here in Santa Fe and is the owner of several businesses including Japanese cooking classes in her home. Please ask her about these businesses during lunch today, and you're all invited to lunch at 11.30 at the church for an Asian-themed luncheon, which I know is going to be delicious. Shizuko has generally, generously agreed to share some aspects of her culture today, and I also want to thank the members of the Dismantling Racism Group who will be participating in the service, Linda Rainey and the choir for the special music selections. The Liturgical Arts Committee has created these beautiful banners and pyramids. And you can read more about them in the bulletin today. Now, let's take this time to center ourselves in God's love and care as we prepare for worship. Hear first from the Old Testament, Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. And then from the New Testament, we have Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even to Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then Peter said, Surely no one can stand in the way of their being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he ordered that they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. The word of God for the people of God. Be to God. Good morning. Good morning. Children, do you know today is the children's day? Would you like to come up here? I'm going to show you something. Any more? One more. One more. 
more, yay. Thank you, thank you. Children's Day, it's a special day for you. We celebrate your happiness. Have you ever seen something like this? <laughs> okay, in Japan, all the children know about this. I'm going to talk about it maybe later on. But I have a gift for you. Would you like to pick one or two or three of these claims? See this? You like that? You can take more than one. I made a bunch. You want a pink too, yeah. What would you like? Blue. These cranes have a special meaning. It really has a prayer for all of you. And today is not only for you, but you're supposed to thank your mother. That's the day. So today when you go home, can you please say thank you to your mom? Good. And we wear things like this. And these are easy to make. I hope to help you make this one of these days. Okay? So they're going to go? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to talk today. My name is Shizuko Kobayashi. I've been living here almost 40 years. And this happened to be a special day, so I'm so glad to talk to you about this. Have you seen cherry blossom? Beautiful, right? We have a special festival on cherry blossom that day. And we have a many, many variety of festivals. Those festivals are usually seasonally and culturally rooted. But today happened to be a children's day. It's not only for children, actually. Uh, on a children's day, what do we do? But before that, I just wanted to tell you a little bit of a history of a Children's Day. As I mentioned, we have a various um, festivals, and March 3rd is a girls' day. So May 5th used to be a boys' day, but now it's a Children's Day. The Japanese government set up in 1948 to have this day as a Children's Day. So we lost the boys' day, but that's okay. Boys will be also celebrated. The day is to celebrate children's growth and happiness, but also we thank mother. In a Western world, you guys have a Mother's Day. It came to Japan later, but today was the day to really celebrate mother as well. Because without us, kids never be born, <laughs> right? So, what do we do on the Children's Day? We put carps, carp streamers like this, and warrior helmets like this inside of the house. These are actually the carp streamers. A lot of you probably know that in Japan, carps are very well respected. The reason why, because they go against the river stream. That shows their uh, courage and strongness. That's why we uh, admire carps a lot. And Warrior helmets and armors are to protect 
children, and also success、uh, in a society. And believe it or not, we take a bath with iris leaves. Did you know that iris leaves has a medicinal、uh, things? You know, we believe that it gives you、uh, immunity and stronger. So we take leaves and put it in the forehead sometime, or put it in a bath like that. And we only take, we call it shobuyu, and shobuyu we take only on the May fifth. Also,、uh, we've been believing that iris leaves will ward off evil spirit. And if you don't have any of those things, you got to have a food, right? So we have a symbolic food. And this is chimaki. What is chimaki? Probably, unless you've been to a Chinese、uh, dim sum,、um, you probably have never seen it. It's a rice wrapped around with bamboo leaves and steamed. It doesn't have a much taste, unfortunately. <laughs> But this is a sweet. It's called kashiwa mochi. And we put red beans inside. Has anyone here ever tasted red beans? Oh, you have. Oh, you have. That's great. That's great. For Asian culture, red beans are very important. We eat red bean sweet all the time. But today is a special because we put red beans covered with mochi cakes, and this is the. Most special thing, covered with oak leaves. Why oak leaves? Did you know that oak leaves、uh, leaves would not shed off until the new one comes up. That is a symbol of、um, how to say it. Symbol of、uh, prosperity of descendant. So that's why we think it's a good luck. And has anybody smelled oak tree leaves? It smells good, so it will go into a mochi cake, and we love it.、But、anyways, it's a special food, and it only comes up during this time of the year.、Um, we even have a song, special song, in this day. I forgot to share that with children. We usually have this kind of hat made for them, and wear it and sing a song. Yane yori takai koi no bori, oki magoi wa otou san. That means carp streamers are taller than roofs. Large streamer is a father. Small streamers are children. Swimming in the sky happily. So, when you travel, travel end of、uh, April to May in Japan, you will see a lot of、uh, streamers everywhere. Not in Tokyo so much because it's a big city. But if you go to any rural city, that's what you see. We celebrate them. This is my family. I have two boys and daughter-in-law, and my husband and me. And what we do, what we've been doing, we put. This is my house, and we put a huge streamers. When my first son was born. The warrior helmet was sent, and my second son was born. These huge streamers were sent by their grandfather from Japan. So we used to put up this every year, but they didn't care. Kids didn't care about these things. What they care is food. <laughs>
I used to make this every year. But my now, now my kids are grown up and they're gone, so I don't do that. What I've been doing here, uh, as I mentioned, I've been living in the uni uh, United States more than 40 years. I'll show you. 45, 46 years. But I've been in Santa Fe for almost 40 years. What I was doing was doing the tour business. When I came to uh, Santa Fe first time, I fell in love with this town. The reason, I grew up in Tokyo. And it's a big city. But here, it's so cozy, but it, it has a, such a deep culture here. So I loved it. And I worked actually uh, as a um, restaurant manager to obtain green card. Does anybody know what the green card is? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people know. There was even a movie called Green Card. <laughs> For foreigners, it's important to stay legally here. So I worked for a um, restaurant to obtain a green card. Then, as soon as I got the green card, I quit and started my own business, first one. And that was a tour business. I brought some Japanese people into this area. I took them to White Sands. I even arranged a huge event for them to bring mariachis and flamenco dancers for their dinners. And I really enjoyed it. And also, what I did, I took some of American people from Santa Fe to go to Japan to show my country. Do you know what this is? Kinkakuji, the golden pavilion in Kyoto. Most famous building. And when I took them to temples, I showed them the proper way to respect. Do you know what this is? <laughs> Sumo prayers. We didn't go to small tournament, but we went to have a, a, we went rituals with a sumo. Sumo was first created as a ritual to give thanks to God. So we attended something like that. Of course, you got to eat the Japanese sweet, right? So we visit all the sweet places. We even visited a sword-making place. Sword-making in Japan is still very, very uh, sacred. You know, very, um, how do you say it? Mm, related to God, to us. So, in modern world, did you know that in Japan nowadays, the robot serves you a food? And it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> but anyways, I have taken many groups to Japan to show them my country proudly. And I like to share them our food. Our food is totally different from New Mexican. <laughs> but did you know the Japanese festival here, right there at the convention center. Has anyone attended that? Oh, you have. Okay, some of you. I organized it. I'm the founder of the Santa Fe Jin, who hosted this for about 15 years. There is a reason why I did start it. When I came to Santa Fe, I was still young, and I was walking on Alameda Street by myself. There are some kids there, and they throw rocks at me. And 
shouted, Chino, go home. And uh, I thought, no, I'm not a Chinese. So I start yelling at them, I am not Chinese. And then I thought, why? They just don't know the difference. This town has such a deep culture, but maybe not Asian. So I always wanted to do something here for Asian country, I mean, culture. But I had to raise my kids. I had to uh, attend my business. I was busy, couldn't do much. But when they got a little bit bigger, my uh, older one was in high school and my uh, younger one in, in elementary. I thought, now I have a time. I wanted to do something for this town and for my culture. So I started Sana Fejin almost 20 years ago. I enjoyed it. I brought uh, some of the artists from Japan or the, gathered the local artists to really celebrate the Japanese culture and then show people here in the northern New Mexico the difference of Japanese culture. Now, pandemic hit. My tour business is pretty much gone. I have taken some of American people to Japan, but no Japanese are coming here. So, I do promote a Japanese company here, working for a Japanese company right now. And for my cultural thing, I do tea ceremony. And I've been practicing over 20 years. This is um, Megan Hill's tea house. She owns four different tea houses in Santa Fe. So, and then let us use this place. So what we do by practicing tea ceremony and inviting you, people here, to come to our tea gathering to share some of our culture. We have seasonal things, just like today. May 5th is the Children's Day. We do uh, have a public event like this and share our culture. And we also go to event. Uh, this was in Albuquerque uh, Japan Festival and share some of our culture. I also, as I mentioned, I love food. I don't know about you, but I eat a lot and I love to cook, I love to eat. So, I created a cooking class in my house. Small, I have a small kitchen, so small group of people, but people do seem to enjoy it. And this is the other way to share my culture. And I am probably going back to Japan someday because I'm already retired age. But if any of you are interested in talk to me <laughs> about any of this, please, let's talk because my really heart is to share my culture with all of you. But thank you very much. <laughs>